So why Baird? Uh, why not? First and foremost, Cole got to have his moments, Marcus had his moments, Anya, everybody else had their moments, but Baird was kind of just left in the back being a sarcastic asshole. Hey, I make intelligent use of free resources. That's how come we're still alive to bitch about it. To go back to the days of just after E-Day where the Locust were new, that's something we wanted to bring back. Go back to the terror of what it was to feel like weeks after E-Day when the Locust first emerged. It also is an opportunity for us because of the fact that it's outside of the trilogy, that way now we can play with it and experiment and try new things. So now I actually have to, you know, step up and really, <laughs> and really show that uh, we know what we're talking about when we talk about a different approach to Gears. We had Horde mode in Gears of War 2. We introduced that as the, the COG players fighting Locust uh, computer. And we thought, hey, that was really compelling, and that was good. And then we, we for Gears of War 3, we wanted to do the, the beast mode. And we said, hey, that was pretty good. And then, obviously, the next evolution of people clamoring for it, well, why don't you combine the two? We put some heads together, and we incorporated the, the awesome developers over people who fly and, and took on their abilities and skills to bring something fresh and new and making Overrun a true competitive class-based multiplayer. The way we approach both, actually, the campaign and Overrun is that gameplay comes first. Sweaty palms are, are, are two word phrase for judging sweaty palms. Uh, that's what it should be like in play. We just used everything that we have learned in our lives, our professional lives, um, to make this the best game we can do.